Hey everybody, it's me, Sky Galaxy. I'm gonna open up this package today. It's a big one. I'm really excited. I'm gonna be quiet though because I don't want somebody to know that I have it yet. So I'm gonna be quiet and open this for you. Stay tuned. I'm just kidding. We can talk. So today's a big day. We got ourselves a nice package. It's something I've been waiting for for a little while. Um, I actually already have one of these. Uh, this is a different variation of it. So um, let's open it up and we'll discuss. It's a, like I said, big one. I say that a lot, I know, but this one, they're all big. That's why I get them. But this one is one of the biggest. see it. You can kind of see it already. Oh, let me just get this out. Goodness gracious, I forgot how heavy these were. So there you have it. The Sega CD Model 1. Um, I already have the Model 3. Two, uh, which is actually one that's probably better as far as longevity of use. Uh, it's a little bit more sturdy than this one. This one's much more pretty. Uh, it's made for the Model 1 Genesis in particular, so if you have a Model 1 Genesis, uh, it's going to fit this perfectly like a glove. Um, so let's just open it up and see what we got. This is complete in box. So Again, very excited about that. Um, I will say, this is great, this is great. I will say the box is in great condition. Nicely, nicely uh, preserved. So the first thing if, again, this is gonna bring back emotions for me because I remember receiving my Sega CD, this exact model on day one um, that it came out and this reminds me uh, almost exactly of that day. So um, as you can see, they've got the pack-in games that came with. It's, it's complete, um, which is wonderful. It's got all the manuals and it's got all the discs. We'll go through those later, um, but let's just keep poking around here. So this is the manual. And I, I've said this before, but I love going through these manuals because they're just so darn fun to go back and look at. Um, looks like some inserts are falling out. Oh, this is the Sherlock Holmes. This goes to the Sherlock Holmes game, uh, which is pretty cool. And then uh, before you connect your Sega CD pamphlet to make sure, uh, you know, you're doing it right. Uh, but we'll go through all this uh, later. I won't do that on camera. That's just for my personal enjoyment. Um, so here we go. This is, of course, the notorious uh, another power source is needed for this Sega CD. But um, I already have one for my other Sega CD, so this is probably going to stay in the box. Here is an important one that you need to have. See, this is uh, if you have a Model 1 in particular, you're going to need to connect this part to the front of your stereo channel where your audio, where your headphones would go and then plug it into the back. Um, so this is important. If you don't have this, you got to get one. Um, so here's the Sega CD itself and uh, looks, this looks like it's it, but these are the, um, the shields. You got to put these on the bottom of your I believe on the Genesis itself or on the top of this, it's one of the two, but uh, these will put on and then here you go. This is the Sega CD itself. How pretty is that? 
And like I said, the Sega uh, Genesis just slides right in. And um, so there's that. I believe this is the audio jack that you need to plug it into from your Genesis into the Sega CD. And then of course you have stereo outputs here. So um, the last thing to do, I guess, is really just get this thing uh, hooked up and we'll take a look at it. Um, so I'm really excited. I don't know why I get a kick out of this, but I love it when these two lights flash, this green and red light, the, ac the red access light, and then of course the, uh, the green ready light. It's just amazing. But um, let's go get it hooked up. Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to give you an update on what's happening with that Sega CD Model 1. I did plug it in. It actually comes up, it has the screen, the Sega CD screen pops up and everything, but unfortunately the drive will not stay shut. So I put a CD in, it goes in, and then it kicks it back out. So there's definitely something wrong with the drive uh, that needs to be repaired. So um, there is a great place, it's called eStarland. Uh, I'm gonna ship it out. Actually, I already shipped it out and um, to have it looked at, have it fixed, and have it sent back. So right now, I'm just kind of waiting for it. And supposedly, I should get it back in the next couple of weeks, but we'll see. Hey everybody, just wanted to give you an update. I got my Sega CD back, my Model 1 Sega CD back. I'm gonna open it up real quick, see if it works, but it should be in full functioning order now. I uh, just got it back from E-Starland. They do, uh, well, we'll see if they do great work, but they're, it's, they're known to, be do, to do great work. Um, so I sent them a couple of things, one being uh, my Atari Jaguar. Just needed a little something. And then, of course, the piece de resistance. My Sega CD model one. And they got uh, all the stickers on it and everything. I don't know if you can see it, but you know, they're saying it's fully functional, should work fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook it up finally after about a month and a half and see if this thing is supposed to work just like it did back in the day when I bought it for the first time. So let's go, let's go hook it up. Okay, everybody, I do have it hooked up finally. I'm super excited about this. I have Solfees in here right now. Um, so let's take a look, make sure this bad boy works. Start. And it was before kicking the uh, the CD out. Clearly not doing that now. And here we go. I'm gonna fix the picture a little bit, but very exciting. Well, there you have it, guys. That is the journey, the six week long journey from getting my Sega Model 1 CD uh, to my home, out of my home, and then back to my home. And now I'm enjoying it. It is amazing. It's, it's everything that I hoped it would be. It totally reminds me of the time that I when I first bought it back way back when in the mid 90s but I would highly recommend it. I also recommend the Sega CD Model 2 only because it's a little bit more sturdy. It's not as finicky as this one, but if you're looking for coolness and that originality of what it was like back when the Sega CD first came out, get yourself a Model 1. I mean, honestly, it doesn't cost that much to fix it. There's a lot of places like E-Starland. I'll put their details in the in the, um, the details section below and you can uh, contact them if you're having issues with any of your systems really but it only costs like $29, $29.99, $29.95 
to fix the CD drive and it's it works just like new. So in that regard, I'm very, very happy that I have my Model 1. I use it all the time now. It actually saves me some space because it's a little bit more compact and I've got a number of consoles that I have on my entertainment uh, console there. So uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think about the uh, Sega CD Model 1, if you have one, if you like it, if it's worth buying even today. But before you go, please hit that subscribe button and check out all the other videos I have. Uh, and make sure you hit that bell too so that you're informed of every video that I make, uh, just like this one. So that's it for me today. I'm going to go play some more Sega CD on my Model 1, my new Model 1, and we'll, uh, we'll see you again next time. Thanks for stopping by.